YouTube dead. <laughs> uh. That was horrible. So YouTube Red has been out for a while and I didn't really look into it because I thought it was just gonna be another phase that YouTube was doing, another self-promotional phase or whatever. Was I wrong? So YouTube has seen the growth of Netflix in the coming years and they thought, you know what, let's do it too. We can make TV shows and movies on our own thing. Let's just make them pay for it. Let's make YouTube Netflix, baby! <laughs> And it was impossible for me to not notice this because all over YouTube they just showed this ad of PewDiePie doing his own TV show. Of course they got to use the biggest YouTuber for their cash grabber. And it was also on mobile. All the time I still see this ad saying new PewDiePie show. Wow, go check it out. But Garrett, YouTube on mobile doesn't matter. Just use your computer. Blah, blah, blah. Well, because I'm still in high school, I use my phone a lot to listen to music. And I honestly do like the way that YouTube does make their music. They make these mix options that provide a wide variety of music based on the song that you're listening to. And I think they do a good job at it. But here's where YouTube decided to piss their pants. They decided to make an app called YouTube Music that lets you only listen to the music section of YouTube, which is a nice idea if they didn't flop on it. YouTube Music doesn't allow your music to play when you leave the app. Like here, look, I'll even show you. I, I picked some shitty random song that we could just play uh, to start with. Okay, let's see, as I say, I got a text, I want to exit the app. Nope. Mm, excuse me, but isn't that the whole point of making a music app? So you can listen to music while you do other things? I don't want to stay in your app just to listen to my music. I want to go play games or text my friends or lock my phone. I don't need to stay in your app just to listen to songs. And this is how I thought the app generally ran, but apparently YouTube Music actually signed me up a week free of YouTube Red. I thought it was just some update they decided to do. They actually made a good idea so that you can stream your music while you lock your phone or exit the app. I thought, you know what, maybe YouTube's right, maybe they did a smart idea. But as soon as my week ran out, I seen it was with YouTube Red, and that's when I decided to take an interest in what all YouTube Red was. And apparently they thought this was a good enough idea to promote as one of their main features of YouTube Red, that you can stream your music while you lock your phone or leave the app. Um, that should be a general feature. No, but don't worry, there's more. If you get YouTube Red, you get no ads on regular videos. Yeah, like ad blocker doesn't exist. Now personally, I don't mind ads, cause well, it's just an ad, and people get revenue from it, so I don't find it to be a major problem. But even though they say no ads, this doesn't apply to any paid content on YouTube, such as a YouTube series or movie. So basically, if I get YouTube Red to see no ads, but see the new Rooster Teeth movie they've been advertising, I'm gonna get the movie, but I'm gonna see ads while I watch the movie, even though I just paid for a program that sponsors no ads. Okay. And lastly, they add a feature where you can download videos and watch them offline, even so to where you can comment and like the video offline. But yet again, this has been done for a long time now. YouTube is trying to pull a Microsoft move and make money by doing absolutely nothing, even though this could all just be a regular feature in a YouTube update. What does YouTube want with this money anyway? Cause we all sure as hell know it ain't going to people who would work for YouTube and make sure people follow their guidelines, cause that would make YouTube a respectable place. 